we have derived the demand curve for the firm. We have seen what is the demand curve for the firm. The demand for the firm is same as the price. So the price curve is the demand curve. Now let's see what is the supply curve for the firm. Now we have two graphs before us. Let's first look at the first graph. In our earlier chapter, we have done the concepts of average variable cost and marginal cost. So we have this average variable cost curve placed on the first graph. So we can see that if the demand is D1, the firm should be producing OQ1 quantity because D1 intersects ABC at the point A. Let's assume it to be point A. This is the least average variable cost. You can see that the average variable cost is the least at this point. It is the minimum and this is where it is tangent with the demand curve. So this is the amount of goods that it should sell OQ1 now let's say the price rises in the market where the price has risen from 3 to 4 so we can say since the price is equal to demand, we can also say that the demand has risen in the market. Now what is the quantity of goods that it should sell? The quantity of goods that it should sell is OQ2 because the marginal cost of the firm is cutting the demand curve at point B. At this point, the price is equal to demand, is equal to average revenue, is equal to marginal revenue. And here, the marginal revenue will be equal to the marginal cost. This is the marginal cost curve for the firm MC. So we know that the firm should produce that much quantity wherein the marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue for it. So the demand curve is nothing but marginal revenue. This is marginal revenue. This is marginal revenue. This all the curves are marginal revenue curves. So the equilibrium will be at the point where the marginal curve is cutting the marginal revenue curve from below. So in the second case where the demand rises or the price rises, we can see that the firm should produce more to the extent where MC is equal to MR and in the second case MC and MR meet at point B. So what is the position in the third case? Now in this case the price rises to rupees 5. Thus we can say that the demand also rises because price and demand are equal. Again marginal revenue is equal to demand. So this line is the price line as well as the demand line and the marginal revenue line. We also know that the marginal cost curve is cutting it at this point. Let's name it as C. So this would be the point of equilibrium for the firm. And how much should it produce and sell? It should produce and sell OQ3 amount of goods. In the same fashion, 
we can say that the firm should produce a Q4 amount of goods in case its demand rises, its price rises to rupees 6. So when you connect all these points, you get a curve which is on the marginal curve and this curve would be the supply curve because if D1 is the demand, Q1 is the quantity that you are manufacturing so they meet at A. If D2 is the demand curve, it meets the marginal cost curve at point B. So this is the amount of quantity that the firm is going to produce. So the firm would produce OQ amount of quantity. Again, when the demand rises, the firm will produce more. It will produce OQ3 quantity now. So what happens is, this also tells me how much is the amount that the firm would produce and sell in the market. So our marginal cost curve also becomes the supply curve. So we can say MC equals to S for the firm. Like price was equal to demand, here marginal cost curve is equal to supply.